Hey guys, I had a client recently ask how to hide uh, certain categories when searching for a WordPress post. And I thought I would do a video and a guide for it and come up with a code snippet to share with everybody. So let's go ahead and get into it from the My Listing Club website. Go up under menu and resources. We're gonna sort by code snippets. And this is the one we're gonna be working from. Hide post categories from WordPress search. And scroll on down here. See the note right here in the middle? This code snippet applies to WordPress posts. So those these are those that are found under WordPress dashboard, posts, and categories. So let's quickly look at that. WordPress dashboard, posts, and then categories. We see over here. These are the ones that we're working from, okay? First thing we need to do is find our category ID, okay? Very simple to do. Let's go back to those categories. Let's hover over the name of category one. Now I can't show you, I can't zoom in on this because as soon as I move my mouse, we're gonna lose um, what it's telling me. But if you look down in the lower left-hand corner of the browser, it says tag underscore ID equals one. So that's the ID of category one. If we hover over category two, we see it says tag underscore ID equals 100, okay? And so on and so forth. So that's how you find it. There are plugins and code snippets that will expose those IDs right here in the, in the columns, like of your WordPress dashboard. Um, but I find it's just as easy to hover, hover over the name of it. Okay, up to you there. All right, so first up is we're gonna hide a single category, okay? So we're just gonna copy the snippet as the instructions say, modify line three, replacing XXX with the ID of your category, okay? So for this, I'm gonna jump over to WP Code Box. I've already added my snippet in here. And when we look at the line I'm talking about, I replaced XXX with the ID of my actual category one, which in this case is one. So that's what we see right here. Okay, so that's it. So now when I go and I do a WordPress search, so this is using a, an Elementor Pro widget, the search, search form widget. If I do a search for category one, nothing comes up, okay? If I do a search for category two, that will come up and, and category three and so on and so forth because we're only hiding category one right now, okay? So like I said, this is a pro feature of Elementor. So you need Elementor Pro, um, obviously. Um, you can do this with other search widgets. Um, WordPress has a default search uh, widget included with it. So Gutenberg, whatever, site editor, however you like to call it. So. Um, you can also use that. So that's, I created another page to show you how that works. So again, this is free included with WordPress. If I do a search for category one, nothing comes up. If I do a search for category two, there we go, that comes up. So I wanted to show you that alternative that you, how you could do it um, for free if you didn't have Elementor Pro, okay? Um, so again, it's just Elementor Pro if you wanna go that route and their search form widget, okay? Um, so now let's say we wanna hide multiple categories. So for that, we're just gonna keep the same snippet in place, but we're gonna focus on this line, line this right here. So we're just gonna add a couple more IDs. So let's go back to our categories. Again, hover over the, uh, the next category, category two in this case. And we're gonna go down here and we see that it's ID equals 100, okay? So let's go back to our code snippet. Let's then put a comma here and then the dash and then 100. All right, and then let's save our snippet. Now, when we do a search for category one, that, that won't come up. If I do a search for category two, that won't come up, okay? If I do a search for category three, it will come up because we're not hiding it, okay? Super simple, so you just keep adding, um, you just keep adding more categories to this if you wanna do that. Um, where this might be useful, um, let's say that, uh, you just, in general, you just want to hide a category for whatever reason. Maybe it's, uh, something you want to keep internal only to you and your team, those particular posts. Um, maybe you've got some posts that you consider dead or expired and you want to categorize those differently and show those to people differently. Like maybe it's a post that have to do with events that have, that have, um, gone away um, and, but they still hold, hold SEO value. Uh, maybe you can categorize them as in a certain category, um, up to you there, how you would do that. Um, similar to kind of how you would do listings 
event listings, if they expired, you know, find a way to categorize those if they hold SEO value still and allow people to still get to them and search for them and filter for those. Um, yeah. So hopefully you found this useful and please click subscribe uh, to know when the next video comes out. It really means a lot to me. Um, yeah. And hope all is well and catch you on the next one.